everybody, Kurt Davis here, and I wanted to bring you all on another rehab tour of one of my latest renovations. Uh, we're actually down here in Southeast Memphis, uh, zip code's 38119, and we're in a really nice area. This house is actually a little nicer than what I normally renovate. You know, as you see, uh, the camera's gonna kind of turn out here for you. You see all these nice brick homes. Everything is manicured, everything is very nice. Landscaping looks great quiet area. We're actually situated right here on a nice little cul-de-sac, uh, but this particular house is a little bit different and you can't really see it just yet, but the landscaping right here on this side and over here on this side, again, you can't really tell initially, but uh, landscaping is going to be major here. Uh, this is a three bedroom, two bathroom brick home. I think it's somewhere around 14 to 1600 square feet. Obviously it's got a two car attached garage. This was an off market property that I found through a realtor actually. It was a situation where um, the family has held onto it for a while, parent passed away and now they look to sell it. So we're actually gonna go inside. Uh, the house has a little bit of a unique layout which you're gonna see here in just a second, but let's go and I'll show you. Some of the stuff we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to do some trim siding work. As you can see, it's just kind of weathered away here. So we're gonna do a lot of trim work to the home. Uh, as you can see, when we get into the backyard area here, we have a lot of major landscaping and yard cleanup that we're gonna to have to do here. So as you can see, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is actually a pretty good sized yard. Grass is heavily overgrown, trees need to be manicured. Uh, there's a little gate over on that side, which actually takes us into the other, kind of like the second backyard part of the house. Um, this little area here where I'm standing, this is a, a nice little courtyard area. Uh, the door that we're gonna go in actually takes us right into the kitchen. Now that is not actually the front door. The, the front door of the house, believe it or not, is right there in the corner. Now I don't know if you can get a shot of that or not, but uh, between all the vines, it's like a jungle over here. Uh, sort of like the last house I called Welcome to the Jungle, but this one really is a jungle. So we are going to have to completely clean out this whole area, clean the gutters. Uh, we're gonna have to do a lot of work here, pressure wash. Uh, once we are done, it's gonna be excellent. So let's go inside the kitchen. So you come in off the courtyard and we're right here in the kitchen. Now, it's interesting because uh, for anybody watching this, uh, you can't watch smell. And it kind of stinks inside this whole house. Like I said, it's been vacant for a long time. There's rodent, you know, there's gotta be mice and rodents. It just, it reeks in here, but here we are in the kitchen. Uh, this is all gonna get completely cleaned out. We're gonna do some new appliances here, new dishwasher. Uh, we're gonna paint the kitchen cabinets, get this wallpaper off, completely repaint. We're gonna do new flooring throughout the whole house. The little laundry area right here is back. So, looks like they had a little leak there that we're gonna take care of. All right, so. Coming off the kitchen, we come into the first part of the house here. This could actually be used as a formal dining room, and I believe that's what the previous owner used to use this as, as a dining area. This could also be another little living area as well to have a, have a separate living area. A little nice little uh, gas fireplace right here in the center is a nice uh, little decoration. I haven't decided if I'm gonna redo the tile here or not. Um, you know, moving over to this side of the house, this would be the main living area. Now, what's nice about this house is the master suite is off on one side and we've got the other two bedrooms and bathrooms, so it does provide a split plan. Uh, again, like I said, all new flooring is gonna go in this interior paint, new blinds, light fixtures. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the master real quick. Typical master bedroom, nothing exciting. We have a doorway here though that does lead out to a uh, a little enclosed patio area that we'll see here in just a few minutes when we get outside, but uh, the owners of this place tried to trash this out to the best of their ability, but I'm gonna have my work cut out for me. Right in here, we've got the master bedroom, or I'm sorry, the master bathroom area, and we're gonna come in with all new flooring in here. Again, paint, painting the cabinets. Uh, I have to get all the junk and clean this area actually before we can really determine what the condition is of the countertops. But if you come over here for a second, we actually have a really large uh, closet area here. And you know, the nice thing about this is we have the stand-up shower as well as the jacuzzi tub area. So that's a nice little feature. 
Uh, we're gonna cross over to where the other two bedrooms and bathrooms are so you can see that real quick. Right here, come take a look. Like I said, bed, bedroom number two, nothing exciting. Like I said, you know, we, we might put this mattress on Craigslist, I don't know. Think anybody would buy it? All right, so this is the bed, uh, bathroom number two, the main hallway bathroom. Again, when we do the new flooring, the flooring's gonna extend into here. We're gonna paint the base, uh, new light fixtures, paint, get this all cleaned up. I mean, what you see here is just a lot of dust and it's thick. I don't think anybody's lived in this house for several years. And here we are in the bedroom number three, front of the house. A nice little natural light coming in from the top. Uh, good sized closet. It's, a, it's actually a decent sized room. It's got a little bit of a vault to it. So maybe my voice sounds a little echoey because of it, but uh, three bedrooms, two bath. I wanna finish up by showing you what the backyard looks like. So we just came off the main living room. We're here in the backyard. As you can still see, the rest of the yard is overgrown. It actually goes back uh, a decent way. Uh, it circles around. You know, we're gonna, this, this little spot of trees right here, I'm actually probably gonna take that out. It's touching this area here that I don't want it touching the house. Uh, this enclosed patio here, this a nice little screen and patio, we're gonna have to rebuild a good portion of it. Uh, get it all cleaned up on the inside so that it can be used as an enclosed patio again. So really this house has two backyards and it's also gonna have an enclosed, pat enclosed patio that you can access from the master. Also coming out this way, we're gonna clean this up. Uh, I really think that doing the landscaping is gonna be a big part of this. Uh, you can see we got a little bit of rot here on the windows. We're gonna have to replace some of these windows. We're gonna have to do some additional siding work. Uh, new HVAC in this house. My budget on this house is projected to be somewhere around twenty-five dollars to $30,000. So uh, once everything is done, houses in this particular neighborhood are selling right around the $140,000 range. So uh, it's gonna take about three to four weeks uh, renovation on this project. So um, normally when we sell these properties, we're selling them to investors who typically live out of state. Uh, but this, is, this house is more of a retail project. So I'd still have the option to sell it to an investor or I might actually consider selling this retail to a homeowner. I haven't decided yet. Uh, maybe I'll let you know in the second episode. So thanks for coming on on this next one and I will see you in the next segment when we're already under renovations. Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of the renovation project on my house on Bellsfield Cove down here in Southeast Memphis. Uh, as you can see, this is the second segment of this video. We've got the dumpster here. We did a massive trash out. If you recall from the first video, you couldn't even see this side of the house. There was so much overgrowth of landscaping. Uh, we have completely knocked all of that out so that we can kind of get to the house. Uh, needs a good pressure washing, but we're gonna come back in with some a uh, nice landscaping that you'll see when we finish this project up, but I at least wanted to start out here so you could see, you can actually see the house, that's for starters. So uh, we're gonna move around to the, to the side of the house so you can kind of see what we've done over there for the cleanup. You know, again, the same thing here. This was such overgrowth. You could hardly walk through. We got this all cleaned out. Same thing, we're gonna probably come in here with some type of bushes, uh, you know, create a whole new mulch bed area. Really, really give this house a great curb appeal. Landscaping, you know, the reason why I'm talking a lot about landscaping because there was so much that needed to be done here. We completely cleared this part of the yard out. Uh, you know, where you're at, there were bushes. You couldn't even see that side of the house. Um, back where this fence is at, there were, there were so many trees and vines uh, growing through it that we're actually just gonna take this little fence out here and just have it completely open. And you know, there's a door right there, which is actually considered the front door of the house. You, could, you didn't even know that there was a door there. So um, still a lot of work to do, a lot of cleanup, final touches uh, coming when we're, when we're finishing up, but uh, we actually at least have something to work with now. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. Uh, as you recall last time, cabinets were all brown. Uh, we've got the primer coat on the cabinets. Uh, still have appliances to do when that's gonna be completed, but we're getting the prep work done. They've got the paint going on. 
Um, I'm actually going to spend a little bit more money on this project than I anticipated. We're going to we're going to uh, update every single outlet, switch plate, everything in the whole house. Uh, we're doing all new hinges uh, on the doors as well as kitchen cabinets. Uh, when you're doing projects like this that are nicer than the average rental property, uh, houses like this that have retail potential, you have to step up the level of renovation uh, just because uh, buyers as well as prospective homeowners are going to be looking for the details on that. So uh, this is gonna look awesome when it's done. Flooring is probably gonna be one of the last things I do in here just because I don't want all this work going on with brand new flooring, but uh, making our way in here, you know, we still have light fixtures to do. But part of the project was cleaning this place out. And the last time we were here during the first video, it smelled so awful in here that now that the guys have everything cleaned out, all that carpet's out of here, the smell is completely gone. Um, we're gonna start over here. Got this door here we're gonna remove. Obviously we've got a front bedroom and a back bedroom, but right here we've got the hallway bathroom. All the tile and everything is in excellent condition. The tub cleaned up very well. Um, we've got the primer coat on the vanity cabinet here. Obviously we still have light fixtures to do, but uh, this bathroom was in very rough condition. So I just wanted to show you this one real quick. We're gonna shoot across to the master area because this house does have a split floor plan. So in here, now, I don't remember if you were able to see in the first video or not, you know, this, this bedroom does have a slight vault to the ceiling here. Uh, we've got a large, I don't know if I'd really call it a walk-in closet, but we've got a large closet here, but what's really nice is that, you know, this master bedroom has this door that goes outside to a covered patio porch. And as you can tell, the guys are out there right now uh, making repairs to it because this is gonna be a really, really nice feature to this property is uh, someone can walk out here and go out and maybe enjoy coffee, relax outside on their covered patio in the backyard. Here in the master, same thing, you know, we've got the paint on the walls, we're getting the cabinets primed, everything's cleaned up very, very nice in here. Um, the interior's coming along. It, it never comes along as fast as we'd like, but uh, nevertheless, it's coming along. Coming out here, I mean, as you can see, we cleaned up the yard a lot. Uh, we cut down a lot of trees, really opened it up to be cleaned out. Uh, we still have all the exterior work to do on this house. We have windows to replace, window frames, HVAC still needs to be done, but uh, we're, we're making our way. So the idea is that in the third video, I'm going to show you the completed project so you can really see the transformation of this house from how bad it was to what we can actually do for work. So I will see you soon in the final video. This project's been huge, simply for the fact that if you remember when we started this project, you could not even see the side of the house. Uh, we just recently put in all new landscaping. Uh, this whole project, I think I've put in about $40,000 of work into this home, as you're gonna see when we walk through. Uh, almost everything has been done to this house. Uh, we did a brand new 30-year architectural shingled roof. Uh, we painted uh, a very neutral light gray on all the exterior trim, painted the garage door. Uh, about $4,000 went into landscaping, as, as you can recall from the beginning, how awful this house was to what it looks like now. Uh, this is only the front part, but let's go around the side and check it out. So one of the things that's unique about this property is, is it does sit in a quiet cove location. Uh, the, what's unique is, is that this is actually the door that goes into the kitchen, and this is actually the front door. Uh, so it's a little unusual on how the layout is, but a lot of homes are like that in this area, so it's not unusual for the area. Uh, you do have a nice little courtyard area here. We put in some small little bushes, finish the landscaping. Aside from all the trim work that we did on this house, we did replace all the actual siding as well, and we used hardy board siding, which is a lot better than the actual wood siding that a lot of people put on. So should last longer, better quality, uh, painted all the exterior trim. We put in some new lights. Um, also with this property, even though we're situated at the end of a cul-de-sac here, this house actually has two large backyards to it. Now it's, it's all one, but you'll see what I mean here as we got this 
whole backyard here. It's really good size. Uh, we repaired uh, several section areas of the fence. Um, you know, you kind of follow the walkway around here a little bit. And it kind of takes us to, I guess, what you could kind of call the other part of the backyard now. Uh, this area here, this is a covered patio that actually you can come off your master bedroom right onto this covered patio. Uh, as you probably saw before, uh, it was a screened in patio, but it was in such poor condition that we thought that this would give it a more clean, uh, neutral type look. Uh, it might appeal to more buyers, plus it's gonna be less maintenance long term. You don't have to worry about the screens breaking. Uh, but, you know, two large yards here. Uh, we put down some new carpet uh, in this area, so we even got a ceiling fan in here. Uh, a lot of work went into the curb appeal of the, the landscaping. I still have sod coming tomorrow in certain areas, so we kind of jumped the gun a little bit, but um, we're gonna enter the house now. We're actually gonna kind of come in through the, we're gonna enter in the back into the living area. All right, so in this property, like I said, we did close to a $40,000 renovation. We did all new ceiling fixtures, all new door handles, hinges, outlet plates, covers, switches. Uh, this is a new vinyl plank flooring uh, that I put in all the high traffic areas. It kind of has like a gray hint. Looks like distressed wood. Uh, looks incredible. But we put a new carpet in the bedrooms. Uh, this house does have a split bedroom plan, meaning that the master is on one side and the other two bedrooms on the other side. We're gonna check out the, the, the two regular bedrooms here first. Nothing exciting. It's a normal bedroom. We did new lights, like I said, carpet, paint, outlets, handles, everything. Very neutral, clean and simple. Uh, this would be considered the second bedroom. Uh, and actually, if we go right in here while you're backing up is we got the hallway bathroom. Uh, it's got tile, the flooring continued into here. Uh, nothing super fancy, nothing special at all. We're entering now the front bedroom area, which could be considered the third bedroom. Uh, this one obviously faces the front of the house. Uh, this one has a little vault into it. You know, the ceiling's a lot higher. We got a real nice ceiling fan here. A lot of natural light will be allowed to come in from this area. So this is the, you could call it the first or second bedroom, whatever you want to call it. Uh, very similar to the other one. Everything is new in here. Uh, let's go check out the master area. You know, another thing that we did to this house, uh, aside from the brand new roof, is we have an all brand new HVAC system in the house hot water tank, just to name a few. So those things will last long. You don't have to worry about any of that for years to come. But let's go into the master here. All right, here in the master, again, like I said, we have the door that goes out to the enclosed patio. That's a really nice feature. Uh, vaulted ceilings also here in the master. Uh, it's a good, it's good size. Now, right here, we've got the closet here in the master. You know, you kind of ask, why are we talking about a closet? Uh, the nice thing is, is it's a good size closet, but we have the same exact closet inside the master bathroom here. So if you kind of follow me in here. We did all new flooring throughout here as well. Now this has the double sink, the jacuzzi tub, and a stand-up shower as well. Did a little decoration in here. But we also have a very nice additional closet. It's huge. It's just like what's in the master. So. Um, master bathroom is very large in here. We're gonna actually finish this tour in the kitchen. So if you follow me, you know, we got the little gas fireplace here. This is kind of a unique feature. You don't see this a lot in homes. Uh, this is really kind of an open concept floor plan because we come in, we've got the large living room. We've got the open concept for the dining area right here as well. You got a nice view of your little courtyard as well, but and right behind here, we do have washer and dryer connections right here. But in the kitchen, we put a lot of work into the kitchen. Um, we went with a two-tone color design here for the cabinets, darker on the lowers, white on the uppers. We did all new countertops, tile backsplash. I even included appliances into this property as well. Uh, What's different about this property is most of the ones that we've done in the past have been sold for investors. Great cash flow investment properties. This one is, is, a, is nicer than that. This is more of an A-class 
type area, East Memphis. We're actually gonna try and put this one on the retail market and sell it to a homeowner is what we're shooting for on this particular property. So stepped up our game, stepped up the rehab, the quality, everything. Uh, really just trying to hit a home run on this one for an end buyer. So as you can see, we started with a very, very rough sketch of what this house looked like. And I hope that whoever buys this home uh, is very happy. And you know the idea is that you get to see the type of work that we put into these properties from start to finish. Not a lot of end people get to see what we do. So uh, until the next time, I hope you'd enjoy this video and we'll see you then.